Hi everyone, uh, welcome to this tutorial about uh, Redshift again. Uh, yeah, I'm having a blast lately with Redshift. Uh, it's a really great engine and I love playing with the nodes on this, on this tool. Um, so here I'm going to show you how I use uh, the texturing nodes to actually add any, any snow on top of any geometry. Okay, but first I need some geometry, right? So I'm going to just uh, quickly model some, some rocks here. Uh, of course, you can use any any tool you want or any any geometry just for the the purpose of the the tutorial. Okay. So here I'm going to apply and let's create some rocks. Some kind of, you know, weird looking stuff. And I'm going to use uh, this one just to, to give a bit of, of weirdness around. just to see a bit more of variation here. So you have your rock here. I'm going to take this in orthographic view and just get it there. And uh, yeah, it's not the most beautiful rock, but it will do a job here and I'm going to export this as a super low res so the texture will do all the job here and now let me import it so we can start to play with it so here is the rocks Okay, let me fire up a render really quick. So now it doesn't look like anything, right? Uh, the first step is to create the base material. So I I'm going to drag and drop the, the, the cliff material. And here I can see, uh, yeah, it's the, the projection is a bit messed up and I want to use uh, the tree planar projection. So I'm just opening the nodes here for the, the texture. And I'm going to use the triplanar here. It can give a super, uh, super organic look to your texture, less less uh, repetitive than uh, cubic and whatnot. You know, like here, if I use, uh, yeah, we can see, you know, uh, the the triplanar projection. Okay, I'm going to use the same anyway, the same uh, image on all here surface so i'm connecting the triplanar here to image x and i'm connecting it to the diffuse and i'm going to do the same thing for the roughness and normal map okay so it's sync okay uh, so now every triplanar is done but i need to actually set the scale because if you zoom in right now you can see how how tiny it looks compared to the scene so i'm going to use a constant node here that i'm going to connect on all the three triplanar on the scale here scale here and here It, it's messing up my, my node a little bit, actually. <clears throat> and I like when it's well, you know, 
well, uh, well arranged. <sighs> okay. So uh, this is the the triplanar stuff. Uh, here the constant uh, is is working on the the scale. So I'm going to put a really little value here, and even more. Okay, so this is a bit too big, so two five of themes, right? Okay, I'm going to use this, and I also need uh, to to set up the displacement map. Uh, I also need the triplanar, so it sync to the to the rest of the texture texture map and I need the texture of course which I'm going to put in the image X I plug the scale here and as for the texture I'm just going to grab here the oh I'm already inside it okay so now the displacement is is put but I need to actually tell the object that uh, we are going to use a displacement so I'm going to increase the tessellation and enable the displacement. And now if I put some value here, it should displace. Okay, nice. I will also increase the level of subdivision just to have something more smooth. And here I'm going to freeze the tessellation so it's smoother when I rotate around. So now you can see the displacement uh, working I'm going to reduce the edge a size a little bit and now how do you add uh, actually snow on top of this uh, you just use a blend material uh, I will connect it to base material so your first rock material is connected to the blender okay and the blender is connected to the surface. So right now you won't see any difference. Uh, so now I need to, to take my snow, connect it to the layer color one, okay? And as for the, uh, the, the blend mode, I need to actually call a state and a color splitter so the color splitter here let's see how it looks directly on the surface yeah this is the side usually the G is the top one okay so you just connect this inside your blend color and on the surface you connect everything back and now you can see you get pretty nice uh, realistic results with the the snow actually working with the with the displacement map so this is looking super good and you can actually as soon as you as we as we have connected everything here with the constant we can just change the look of the rock super easily like if I want to make a bigger like less less repetition, you know, and you can you can create different type of look, you know. So let's say I have this one here. I duplicate it. Okay. I will make another iteration here. Just rotate it, and I will. Um, okay, this is the second material, and on the second material, I want something more with more repetition okay so let's just increase this and you can see how different they look even though you know so yeah that's how you actually use a uh, displacement map and how you put some some snow top on top of geometry all right uh, let me know if this is useful for you guys and uh, yeah cheers <laughs>